Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Blessed be our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Holy Lamb of God. I want to give you this little quick revelation the Lord gave me. Um, you know, the Listerine cool mint that kills germ, that kills the germs that cause bad breath, plaque, and the gum disease, gen gingivitis. I'm talking about that antiseptic. Listerine. I ain't talking about that dollar Listerine that you go into the, the 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 little dollar stores, the cheap that don't do much, that don't have much effect. This morning when I was brushing my teeth, I was brushing good, you know, brushing hard, brushing my teeth, brushing my teeth. When I got done brushing my teeth. You know, I wash my mouth out with water first, and then I put some of this Listerine in my mouth, and it started burning. I'm talking about it started burning my gums, burning my tongue, and that let that was letting me know that this Listerine is killing them germs in my mouth. It was doing a great work inside of my mouth. So when I got done, I spit it out. I was like, man, let me try some more. So I put some more in my mouth. And it was still burning, so I knew I wasn't done yet. I gotta keep on, keep on uh, squashing it around my mouth, you know. And so finally, I spit that out after 30 seconds. Then I put some more in my mouth, and I didn't feel the burn no more. So that let me know when I didn't feel the burn no more that it's done killing the germs in my mouth. And God gave me a revelation with that, you know. Uh, God will take us through a process in our walk where he wants to do a great work inside of us. He want to get it deep in the root in the inside of our hearts. And he want us to allow him to uproot all uncleaning, all uncleanness, all filthiness out of our heart. The Bible says in the book of Philippians 1, 6, he which began a good work in you shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. So if we fasting and we praying and we worshiping and we getting in that word meditating on the word of god we are allowing god to uproot to cleanse our heart out we allowing god to purge us with hyssop ain't that what david said purge me with hyssop oh god create a clean heart in me oh god and renew the right spirit in me we have to fast we have to pray we have to worship we have to get in the word of god to allow god to clean us up from the inside out so we'll be presented a beautiful bride, a blameless and a holy people, acceptable unto God. That's what God desires to do. But see, some of us, what we want to do is, you know, we want to read a couple scriptures a day and say, I'm done. We want to say one prayer when we wake up and then we be done talking to God for the day. We want to listen to one worship song and then we be done worshiping God for the day. We want to fast for like one or two hours and then be done fasting for a whole week. See, we want to shortchange this. Well, what, what many of us don't want to do, we don't want to go through that process of the Lord cleansing us. We don't want to go through that process of the Lord purging us. And I'm here to tell you, yeah, and a lot of people hate the conviction that the word of God brings, but God is trying to clean you through the convictions. God is trying to clean you through the process he's taking you through. God got to get deep inside of your heart. He got to uproot them things that's going to keep you out of his kingdom. He got to get uh, deep in your heart and uproot it. He got to purge you and we got to allow God to do that. So when God send the conviction in our life, it ain't that he trying to hurt us. It ain't that he trying to burn us up. He trying to clean them germs up that's inside of us and that's what god desires to do so blessed be the name of the lord god bless you shalom